This week I had uh, a big project I needed to do for my manager. It was tedious and time consuming and sort of pointless in some ways, but sometimes you just have to do those things and it took up a lot of time. So it was a busy week at work, but that's done. And on Thursday I did get to go out with some friends and do some rooftop dancing, which was great. Um, I post a lot of the stuff I do during the week on Insta stories. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you like to see what other people do um, in other parts of the world or if you live in Seattle and you're like where should I go out um, I go out a lot so feel free to follow for fun stories um, but we went to this place called Monkey Loft uh, which has a great rooftop deck and they do a summer series called Decked Out so we went there I would recommend that that was a lot of fun and then last night I went to my friend's rooftop for a barbecue it's like very, it's like what my summers are made of now, I think, is like <laughs> rooftop barbecues and trying to avoid the smoke. It's been a little smoky in Seattle the last week or two, but things are clearing out now. And it's actually quite chilly, like we're, it didn't top 70 yesterday, um, and I think it's supposed to be pretty chilly through the weekend, but I think we'll get back up to higher temperatures next weekend. So that's good, because next weekend I'm going camping, uh, which I'm really excited about. I love camping. It's the only time I'll get to go camping this summer, um, which is a little sad and frustrating for me. I love hiking and camping and doing all those things, but obviously um, because of my disability, uh, if you're new here, I'm legally blind, so I don't drive a car, uh, which makes it challenging to get out into the mountains. And it's so unfortunate because uh, the Pacific Northwest is such a beautiful place. The natural beauty here is insane. And I'm really dependent on other people to get out there. And I don't think that most of my friends like to camp and hike quite as much as I do. And at some point you just feel guilty trying to always get other people to drive you places. So um, unfortunately I do not get to camp and hike as much as I would like to. I think people would be surprised by how much I enjoy kind of roughing it a little bit. <laughs> Um, I really I really like being out in nature so um, it's always a bummer to not be able to get in as much as I would like but um, we are going this weekend and I'm very excited it's my friends Maya and Dave Maya was in last week's video when we went thrift store shopping um, her boyfriend Dave who's a good friend of mine my friends Alexis and Boriana and possibly Boriana's partner so um, and Bella the dog little basset hound um, yeah, today I just did a little yoga sesh, which I've probably shown you. <laughs> um, I really needed that yoga session. I did a weightlifting session on Friday, yesterday, and I'm quite sore. And I have, hopefully, a PT session, a uh, personal trainer, uh, not physical therapy. Um, I have a training session on Monday, I hope. My gym has this great offering where you can sign up for a like 45 minute training session every six weeks like it's included in the membership and that's really nice to have but the system for signing up for it is like really odd and I just can't figure out their system every time I try and submit a request through the online portal I never get a confirmation last time I did it they're like we didn't get the request so I don't know I keep trying but I'll have to talk to somebody when I go in and unfortunately, Seattle is going back to a mask mandate inside, which means that if I want to go to the gym, I have to wear a mask while I work out. And I really hate that. I've done it before and it sucks. Um, but at this point, like, I don't know, I'm trying to accept it, but I'm really frustrated and really, really annoyed. So I'm just, yeah, I have lots of thoughts and feelings about the pandemic right now. So. And the world in general it's been um it's been a hard week to watch the news it's pretty heartbreaking but 
Anyway, the rest of today is cleaning up my space. It is a disaster. I kind of let things go this week and I got a bunch of deliveries. So one of the things I wanna do uh, when I'm done cleaning up my condo is to show you all of the new things I've been buying this week, including this sweater. I will talk about this in just a bit. Um, but yeah, I've gotten a bunch of new deliveries. I did a bit of online shopping last week, so things are coming in. Still have a few things that need to get delivered. Um, anyway, um, I'm gonna start cleaning. I've yapped enough at you. We'll get cleaning, get going. Tonight, going out with my friends. Alicia and one of her other friends were all a bunch of Wisconsin girls. So gonna make some new Meet a new person go out for dinner go out for drinks get some dancing in it's like 90s night at um, another club that we like to go to and Yeah, I keep telling myself. I'm gonna like chill out on the going out But I'll have gone out Thursday Friday and Saturday night this week So I'm doing great <laughs> I just can't help myself. I like to do things. All right, see you soon. Hey y'all, um, it is now about 6.30, 6.40. That took a lot longer. I mean, I cleaned my entire apartment and then I got ready to go out tonight, which I'm gonna head out to as soon as I am done showing you all the things that I promised to show you. But um, yeah, like I said earlier, I've been doing a good amount of online shopping lately. I just kind of, well, we're heading into fall and I know everybody's starting to talk about transition seasons and the fall trends are starting to come out and everything. And I've hopped into some stores and just wanted to fill some holes in my wardrobe. So I found some stuff that I really liked and I'm gonna show it to you. Um, this is the first top I told you about earlier. This is a sweater from Anthropology. It's like, I think, Part of their latest release. Normally I do not buy things full price from Anthropology, but I knew that I would like this sweater and wear it a ton and that I would get the money out of it, so I didn't mind buying it like full price. It is incredibly soft. It's this alphabet print, like giant oversized letter print. I think it's really fun. I love the mock neck. Um, I really like this style of neckline. So was really excited about that and it's just super cozy. It's gonna be warm enough to layer underneath a jacket um, or with a skirt or something in the winter time, but it's light enough that I'm not gonna be overly warm if I'm wearing it on like a cooler evening in the summer and early fall. So uh, I really, really like it, but I will link it below. Obviously I'll link everything below if I can find it or something very similar to it because some of these um, might be a little harder to find. Um, I'll, keep, I'll keep with anthropology. So then I decided I, well, when I was in there trying the sweater on, I also came across this uh, kind of, I think it's called spice something. Anyway, this like cider red midi knit dress, which is great. I think this is a good year round piece. It's It was on sale, so it is from their summer collection, um, but I think it's one of those pieces, to me this feels almost more fall, winter. Um, you can wear it with sneakers in the summertime. It's super cute and lightweight. Um, and obviously with the um, tank top or sleeveless style, that is very summery. Um, but you can also layer this easily in winter, wear it with a pair of boots, put a cardigan over it, put a sweater over it, or I was, I haven't styled it much yet, but I'm wondering what I can put underneath it, kind of, that idea of a shirt under a dress, so I'm sure I could figure that out as well with this. Um, I think it has a lot of potential to be very cute, so I'm very excited about that. It is on sale. I got it in a medium, because I am about a size eight these days, and um, it fits pretty true to size. I think I need to find some shapewear because it is quite figure hugging, and I am thin, relatively thin, but um, I don't always have the most smooth shape, so I do want to get some shapewear to wear under this just for my own comfort. Um, but yeah, I'll show that to you in a bit. So that was anthropology. Um, then, if you do follow my Insta stories, um, I know I've made a couple of plugs for this now in this video, but um, I had put out that I was looking for a new work tote, and I picked, like, put up a couple of different ones and asked people what their thoughts were, and they were in a very, like, a range of prices. One was a Chloe bag, one was from Acris, one was from Frame, and one was, I forgot what the other one was. 
Anyway, it was up on my Insta stories. And then I found this one online, and it's one I've actually been looking at for a long time. So this is the All Saints Small Kepi. I think it's K-E-P-I East West Tote. So it's pretty simple and minimalist in many ways. Like it's just black. Like there's not even real hardware on here. Um, it's very simple. But I love this whip stitch detailing in this, and I've really liked that. Like I've seen this bag a long time online and I've looked at it several times and I just kind of finally decided, yeah, I really like it enough. Um, like the plain black, very classic bags are lovely, but they're just sort of lacking in interest. And I know that this whip stitch isn't like groundbreaking, but I just thought it was just the right amount of detail and the right amount of classic. Um, so that's why I went for this. And it's, I think it normally retails for like $400 or so, but um, I got it off of Nordstrom Rack and it was under $200. So that was awesome. And it, like the leather is great. I am super impressed with that leather and it fits my 15 inch laptop. So really happy with that. I've taken it to work once this last week and it did the job. Um, I'll show you these next. I, I'm not normally a sneaker girl, but I have realized that I definitely need shoes that are not flats or boots or sandals. Um, I just need a little bit more variety. And so I picked up a pair of Keds. I am super into Keds over like Chucks. Chucks are too narrow, they're a little tight on my feet. Something about that rubber toe part of them just always makes my toes feel very cold in the winter. Um, they just don't do it for me. I find them to be quite uncomfortable. I have one other pair of Keds and I've basically worn it to the ground. Um, I probably need to replace that pair. That's the classic pair. This is an all leather um, white Ked. I'm gonna struggle to keep this white, but we'll try. Um, and they are just super comfortable, like very cushioned inside, like just a very basic sneaker, but very um, affordable and cute. And I like the leather and I just really love Keds. Um, I was super tempted to go for the off-white out of office sneakers, but um, these were like 60 or 70 bucks and those were like 550. So maybe some other day. I really like the out of, out of office um, off-white sneaker. They're, they're very good. Um, so those are a cute pair of sneakers. And then I will show you one that I showed you last week. If you watched my video last week, I went thrifting um, or vintage shopping and this is what I found. It is probably not vintage at all. Um, it's a pretty contemporary brand called Love Stitch, but I got it in the like thrift market area at the Fremont uh, craft fair on last Sunday. And it's this great snake print, um, kind of this, I don't know if it's like pinky, purpley, warm undertone, kind of neutral still and just a really fun print and uh, at that midi length. So midi length being one of the things that's super trendy right now. I mean, I think we've had midi skirts being trendy for a while in midi dresses, but it's definitely here to stay for a while longer. And I thought this was a great year round piece again in the summertime. It's nice and lightweight and really cute, but in winter I could layer it, um, put a sweater over it. Again, same concept, I'm sure. Putting things underneath it or over it and just really building layers around it is fun and a snake print is classic. So um, this is a print I do not own. I have never owned anything snake print before, so this was fun for me. And yeah, you can't, you can't go wrong. Like vintage shopping or thrift store shopping, I think that was like 30 bucks. So I got a nice, great new piece that's gonna go through all seasons of um, the year for me and I think I think it's really more of a work piece for me based on my style but I'm sure I will find ways to wear that outside of work as well. Um, okay so last Sunday when we went to the Ballard Market we stopped in at some boutiques. Um, there were a number of things I really liked at the boutique that we stopped in off at, stopped in at and um, I had to like limit my purchases because I was trying, because I bought everything else online, so I had to limit what I bought there, but um, I got these shorts. I am not huge on shorts, generally speaking, um, but I 
really realized this summer I needed more <laughs> shorts than I have. I currently have one pair of denim shorts and they're great and I really like them because they're long enough, like they're long enough in the leg, this, I guess, I don't know what this is called, this inseam is longer and then the rise is high enough on them. Um, a lot of shorts are, the, the inseam is too short for my comfort level. I am not looking to have my butt or any other part of me that should not be hanging out of shorts hang out. And I feel like a lot of shorts do that, but these do not. They're really cute and flattering and high-waisted and unlike the denim, which can be a little restrictive and on really hot days, uncomfortable. These are a lovely like cottony linen material. Uh, you can wear them in spring into the fall because they're a darker color. Navy is just really classic. I love the stripe. They fit really, really well. They're very flattering. So I was really excited to have another pair of shorts in my wardrobe and that boutique is really cute. I'll link it below. They don't update their website. So if you don't live in Seattle, it's not great. Um, you can't really order from them or anything, but if you live in Seattle, it's a great boutique. Um, okay. This is, um, I don't agree to do this. So this is a Zara dress. I think, again, this is a relatively recent Zara collection release. Um, and I saw this dress on a girl I follow on Instagram, some a French girl that, I, think, I can't remember her name. I will link her account below. She's also great. Uh, she does great styling pieces. I would, would love to raid her closet. But anyway, I saw this on her and thought, that looks so good. I really love the cutout trend. Um, and so, yeah, I needed a new black dress. I have one little black dress. I've had it for years. It's kind of starting to, it's cotton, so the shape of it is starting to go a little bit. So I thought this was a great little black dress that would go year round. So I bought it and I have it in a size large, uh, which is what I am in Zara, and it fits really well. I am long torso, so I was a little worried about these cutouts. It's a little, higher up on my body than I'd like it to be, but it's not bad. And because of these like side cutouts, I can kind of position them where I need to without causing any issues down here, which you'll see. This is what I'm wearing out tonight. So I will show you this before I head out. This is a great Zara dress. Um, if it's still available, which it should be, I would highly recommend it. I think it also comes in like a nude color, like a beige. So yeah, great Zara dress. I'm really getting back into Zara. I've never been a huge Zara shopper, but I feel like there are some key pieces you can pick up from them that work really well without having to spend absurd amounts of money. And for those more like trend-led pieces, uh, I think Zara is a great option. So um, I did buy a crop top from Zara as well, but it is currently dirty, so it's waiting to be washed. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it. Um, I, I wore it in last week's video. Uh, it's just like a plain white crop top, nothing groundbreaking, but great basic if you're looking to layer. And I really love the crop top trend, so I do not intend to stop wearing them anytime soon. I'm excited to layer them into the fall and winter. Um, yeah, I'll be wearing lots of crop tops for quite some time until somebody's like, no, we don't wear crop tops anymore. And I'll be like, mm, okay. Um, but I'm enjoying that trend. So anyway, I'm going to head out now. Well, now I'm going to do the cutaways, but um, then I'm going to head out and uh, we'll go out dancing tonight for 90s night. For a 90s dance night so I was meeting up with my friend Alicia. Alicia is from southern Wisconsin and I hadn't seen her in like a year. She does travel nursing so um, she like kind of comes and goes and uh, she wanted me to meet one of her friends who is also from southern Wisconsin and also a travel nurse. 
So I met them at a bar called Montana. And then the other woman, Cassandra, she brought her friend Danny, who is also from Southern Wisconsin. So it was me, um, I'm from Northern Wisconsin, and then these three people from Milwaukee. And we just had a blast. Um, I will say I feel like Midwesterners party really well and Wisconsin kids party pretty hard. So we just, um, we just had a couple beers and went out dancing. We like owned the dance floor. Alicia is like a machine. She's crazy on the dance floor. It's really fun. Um, and the crowd was really good and the music was really good. They did not play any Spice Girls. And I was like, how do you have a 90s night and you don't play Spice Girls? I just don't understand. But it was fun, nonetheless. And yeah, it was a really, really good time. Uh, we closed that bar down. They like were kicking us out. Um, and we just had a great night. And it was super fun to connect with people from my hometown. We talked to, or not my hometown, but my home state. And we talked about all things Wisconsin. And we were like, we should all watch the Packers games together. And we found this grilled cheese place that we all want to go to. And like, where to find the good cheese curds in town. And so, uh, Wisconsin, if you don't know, is super dairy obsessed. I can't imagine that anybody doesn't know that, but if you're not from the United States, then you might not know that. Um, so that was really fun. And it's just been really nice getting back out and making friends with people. We are going back to a universal mask mandate tomorrow in Washington state, and so that's a bit of a bummer. Not that they're gonna close down or anything, but it just, it's not, fun to dance in a mask, it's just, it's just not great. So anyway, um, we'll see if things don't start getting better. They, I just can't imagine that people are gonna accept another lockdown, but who knows, people, I don't know. I don't wanna think about it. Um, just get vaccinated and be as safe as you can. So anyway, I woke up this morning and I realized that I had missed two things yesterday in my like rush to film everything before I went out. I forgot to show you two things that I picked up. So the first, I'm in the market for a new pair of black knee-high boots. I would like to find more of a riding style, but um, like a heel is always nice too. I like a heel boot. I don't want to take this off because I need to return this, but there's like a little buckle here. And then it's got this. So I got these off of Amazon for like 50 bucks. They're by uh, London Fog. London Fog makes coats that are pretty decent, like raincoats, um, kind of like trench style coats. And I looked at a couple of their coats and really liked them. So I was surprised when I saw that they did boots. Um, and I've already tried this on and I'm gonna return it because the quality is just not necessarily where I would want it to be. But also because it's a little narrower for my foot in, in this area. And so I just don't feel very stable in it because my, my feet are hanging over the edge just a little bit. And it's a regular size boot, so I think it just runs a little narrow, which is good to know, but it's just not gonna work for me. Um, but I'll try it on just so you can kind of see. Uh, it's like, if you're not, you know, if you don't care, like it's not leather. So if you're fine with like fake plasticky leather for a boot, and it's kind of got this like almost insulated inside, which I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that can, if your feet run hot, that can be uncomfortable for your feet. But on the whole, I don't think it's a bad boot. And it, like for what the price is, I think it's probably fine. It just isn't what I'm in the market for. Um, I think I'd rather spend like two or three hundred dollars and get something a little bit more um, in the like quality range that I'm looking for. But they're not bad um, if you don't want to spend a ton of money. This could be a good boot. So I'll try that on uh, in a bit. Once I get ready, I just did a yoga session and I'm sipping on my smoothie. Um, didn't think you needed to see two yoga sessions in a, in a video, so. And then the other thing that I bought, not these boots, these boots I bought forever ago, um, but I've been struggling with keeping over the knee boots up. Like they're just, they always fall down. And I've tried a couple of different things. I've tried two-sided fashion tape. I like made my own bootstraps, which I think I posted on Instagram a while ago. And um, I wore these to my cousin's wedding for the reception. And of course I was dancing like a crazy person. And they worked really well. Like the straps I made worked really well. It was just like elastic and uh, Velcro and some like 
fabric glue that I use because I don't have a sewing machine um, and I suck at hand sewing. Um, and they worked okay. But when I started dancing, the heat from my body like made the glue loosen and then they just fell down and didn't work anymore. So I found on Amazon these things. These are basically a nicer version of what I was trying to make and they're called boot bras. And they're like these elastic, this is this plastic part, it goes against your skin and then obviously you can adjust this um, so you can tighten it or loosen it depending on what you need. Be careful not to cut off your circulation. But then it just has this adhesive that hits the boot. I don't know if this is gonna hold up to dancing, but it should work really well for um, just walking around, which is also like, I, I wanna wear these to work and I wanna wear them to dinners and things like that. If I can't wear them out dancing, that's fine. Um, but this will be a good solution. So these were like six bucks, I'll link them below. If you have over the knee boots, um, I would highly recommend. I don't know if, like, I've never, these are just Chinese laundry. They're, like, cheap things I got at Nordstrom Rack. Um, but I don't know why they don't just build in something around the knee to keep it up. Like, why, why wouldn't they just build this in if this is a known problem? Um, somebody, I heard somebody on the internet saying that the Stuart Weissman ones are the only ones that don't fall down. Um, and I haven't looked at Stuart Wiseman, so I wonder if maybe some of the higher end brands do that already where they built that in. But if you have over the knee boots and they're constantly falling down, this is a good solution. Um, so I will demonstrate that as well in just a bit. But I'm going to finish my smoothie and then kind of finish tidying up. I'm doing my bedding right now and just need to, I mean, I cleaned yesterday, but it just needs like a quick. Uh, wipe down again. The high boots that I'm using the boot bra on, and I and I know you guys can't see it all that well, but as you can see it, um, let me see if I can come closer. So what it does is it hooks around the back, like I said, it velcros, and then it's just attached here on the inside of the boot, and then you just pull it up, and you can adjust it as needed. I've got the laces tucked into the back, and like I've been walking around in them for the last 20 minutes or so, and it's not going anywhere, it's very comfortable. Um, so you can sit. <laughs> um, I mean, it just, it does grab a little bit on your leg, but you can adjust it as needed, but it feels very secure. I feel very comfortable. Um, if I think this is gonna work really well. Um, I won't know if it'll work until I go dancing, but I think, you know, like, good find for $6 or $8. Anyway, sorry, hold on. This is the sweater I showed you yesterday, and I've had this skirt for a while, um, but I'm curious. I'm playing a little bit more with prints, and so um, tell me how, like, in the comments, let me know if you think this is a good print combo. I've got it up on my Insta stories right now, too, just to see what people think. Um, mixing prints isn't for everybody. It's a lot, but I actually really like it, and I want to get better at doing it, but that takes some practice. So I think this is pretty good, though. I mean, it's just like a classic check and an oversized print. They're in the same color, like it's monochrome. I feel like you can't go wrong with this outfit. I think it's pretty cute, actually. So I like it, but you let me know. Did I nail it? Does it need more work? Um, yeah, let me know. And I'm gonna try another boots. These are the London Fog boots. I got them off of Amazon. I will link them below. Not for me, but they might work for somebody else. So like I said, they are too narrow and I actually feel quite unstable in them because my foot is like, they just don't fit my feet very well. I, I did order a size 10. I think maybe if I went up a half a size, that might work. They're quite tight in the toe box, um, and the footbed is a little too narrow, so it's no. Sorry, I'm not taking the paper off because I am returning these, but there's a little buckle there. Yeah, they just don't fit my foot very well at all, and for about 50 bucks, like, if you're in the market for a knee-high boot, um... That heartbreaking moment when you realize you're out of coffee. <sighs> that sucks. Good morning, everybody. It is um, Wednesday. It's been a few days since I uh, was talking with you last. I had meant to film a lot of more things and then my camera died on me and all this other stuff and so it just didn't happen. And then, oh my God, I'm sorry, it's 7 a.m. Oh, anyway, 
I've been editing the vlog and it's just taking a while. So this is getting out later than I wanted to, which is the story of my life. But one thing came between um, last time I talked to you and today, uh, it came last night, and that's one more pair of boots. So I'm gonna get some coffee and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you those boots. And then, yeah, then I'm probably gonna call this vlog after that because I don't really know what else to show you and it's getting like kind of weird and like just dragging on. So let's go get coffee because we really need it. Yeah, it's a socks with sandals kind of a day. What can I tell you? High fashion. So this is the coffee shop of choice. They're super nice here. The coffee's pretty good and I think they were still there. So. Cute little spot if you're in the area. Yay, success. Oh my god, just inject it right into my veins. Alright, we've got coffee. And we've got boots. So these are, again, a pair of boots I wear off of Amazon. They're kind of cold. And um, they're a lot nicer than the London Fog ones I just showed you, like, well, a couple days ago now, but a couple minutes ago in your sign. Um, so yeah, so these are, I think, nicer quality. They are leather. The interior is more of like a fabric and not so much that insulated kind. Um, they're a little tighter in the calf than the other ones, so they do fit my calf, but um, they are a little narrower than the London Fog ones. They do have that little like elastic V cut into them, so they should fit most calves. I don't think that I have particularly thick calves, but I am pretty muscular in the legs. Um, yeah, the quality is better in terms of the footbed fits correctly, so they're wide enough for me. I ordered a size 10, and I think that I could go up a half size, potentially. Um, they're not super uncomfortable, they are a little tight in the toe box. Um, heel is comfortable, it's block heel, it's very stable, so far more stable than the London Fog ones, but obviously the heel is a little thicker as well, so that helps. Um, I do feel like the construction where the heel connects to the, the, sh the, the shoe, I don't know. <laughs> um, I feel like that could be a little better in terms of the quality of construction, but um, not bad at all. So these are on Amazon. They are 70, well, so I paid like 79 for these in the brown. In black, they're like 250. So I think price is really gonna vary depending on um, what color you want, but they have them in a bunch of different colors. So I don't think they're too bad. I think because they're a little tight and because I think I would prefer a lower heel, I would really prefer like a true flat riding boot um, is what I'm really after and I'm struggling to find that. I mean, the Prada ones, which I really want, really want those. Um, those are kind of like the holy grail boot, but there's a bunch between these and the Prada boots to try. So. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Um, I think I can just, I need something that fits me a little bit better. So I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to return these and keep looking. But if you are in the market for a boot that looks like this, these are actually a pretty solid choice. Um, and if they were just slightly bigger around the toe box, I think I'd be a little bit more comfortable. This is also outfit of the day. Um, this is my AFRM blazer, which I love. I'm obsessed with this blazer, mainly because of the check in it. I, well, I guess it's plaid. I love a colorful plaid. This is like this amazing camel tone also. And then I have this Saison. This is the Tomboy button up. Um, it comes with a bunch of different prints. So this is the little polka dot that I got and I'm super into mixing prints this week so yesterday I wore like a striped shirt with a butterfly print scarf and then I think I showed you the Topshop plaid skirt 
with the um, anthropology, like graphic print sweater. That was super fun. I'm, I cannot wait for it to be cold enough to actually wear that out and about. I'm so excited for that one. That's really cute. And today is plaid and polka dot. So I'm just having fun mixing prints. Um, but I think this is a very like fun, chic, semi-equestrian vibe that is very wearable in all environments. So um, yeah, with that, I need to get to work. <sighs> oh, I have a lot to do. Um, I need to get to the office and I will catch up with you probably pretty soon actually, because again, we're going hiking and I need to go through my kitchen kit and I need to finish meal planning. So I think that's what you need to look forward to in the next vlog. More like outdoorsy, adventure -y stuff and a little less fashion. Um, but don't worry, I will always come back with fashion. <laughs>